Last time, when we were moving the sand heap, Sergio uncovered an old wine press. It must be around 60-70 years old. It is used to extract the juice from the grapes. When they saw it for the first time, Sergio and Marina were very excited. They planted some grapevines just before we moved here. Within a few years, we should be harvesting some nice grapes. Most of the time we make our own pasta. The ingredients are very simple. Just durum wet semolina and eggs. This pasta machine is from the 80s and it still works very well. It's one of the few that actually needs the dough. The heating of the filters serves to make the first pasta flow better. Sergio and Marina really wanted to plant some citrus trees on the land. Citrus trees love the sun. To survive in this area, they need to be protected from strong winds and cold weather. This is the only suitable spot on the property where they could grow well. Here, they have good exposure to the sun and the chapel gives them protection from the wind. Unfortunately, 
we have to remove the palm trees to make this happen. Ten zo git baas, daar dan wel. Torna a cop. Cosa? Certo. Questa è la forza micidiale. Torna a cop. Eh sì. Torna a cop. Torna a cop, ha durato poco.
We want to have lots of flowers around the house. And we want to keep these meadow-like surroundings rather than perfect plain grass. We bought some flower seeds and we want to try this natural method of Fukuoka, which is to just sow seed balls and leave everything else to nature. I'm mixing the seeds with clay, soil and water to make little balls. It's not food, Jack. It's not food, you see? The clay protects the seeds from birds and insects and absorbs the water necessary for the seeds to sprout. Now the balls need to dry for some time and later we will throw them around. I will cut some of this reed and let it dry, so we can use it later for the vegetable garden. These are the grapevines that my mother and Sergio planted. They are growing so well. But, unfortunately, the weeds are growing even better. But where is it? Mm. <laughs> Oh, 
straight, you know. Marina baked this delicious sweet butter bread. We enjoy it with some tea with elderberry syrup that we made last time. A perfect break. Maybe we can bake it together in the future. Soon the olive trees will bloom and begin to produce fruit. Their natural enemy is the olive fruit fly, which lays its eggs inside the fruit. Here I'm making a biological trap for the fly. I fill in a plastic bottle with one-third water and I put a piece of fish inside, which will attract the flies as it decomposes. The trap must be hung on the tree facing southwest, about one and a half meters above the ground. It will cover an area of around 10 square meters.
This tractor is from the 60s and it is in very good condition. Fun fact, Lamborghini actually started making tractors before supercars. Such a simple recipe, but so rich in flavor. Just a few ingredients. Tomatoes, mozzarella, olive oil, basil, 
salt and pepper to taste. This is the first time that we've come back to Martin Sicuro since we moved. We are very surprised by the difference in the weather. It's only about 100 kilometers between the two places, but in Corvara it feels like the beginning of spring, while in Martin Sicuro it feels like summer. Today, we celebrate Sergio's 18th birthday. Mm. 
tutti quanti a dirti che ti vogliamo bene buon compleanno divertiti